Welcome to the YouTube channel for Vantage Point Networks. I'm your host, Scott Pickles, and today we're going to be talking about what happens when your Motorola ES400 or MC65 becomes locked into AT&T mode, essentially disabling uh, the multi-mode feature. As always, official supporting documentation for your Motorola ES400 or MC65 is available at support.symbol.com. To obtain the multi-mode fix file discussed in this video, please visit our FTP site at ftp.vpnsystems.com forward slash support forward slash Motorola. So in this video we're going to be looking at what happens when your MC65 or ES400 becomes locked into the AT&T mode. And uh, you know, you're probably asking yourself, well why does this even happen in the first place? Uh, Motorola has done something revolutionary in that they are now making uh, mobile computers with a software programmable wide area radio network. Um, prior to the ES400 and MC65, you had to purchase your device uh, locked into a particular carrier such as AT&T or Verizon or Sprint. And if you changed carriers uh, to maintain your competitive advantage in the, the open marketplace for cellular carriers, um, you unfortunately could not carry over that investment in hardware. Uh, now, thanks to the software programmable radio, you can do that. Uh, you simply just reprogram uh, the mobile computer to uh, set up uh, service for the new carrier. However, uh, the device has to have a default uh, carrier setting, and that is uh, AT&T. And so, unfortunately, every once in a while, it'll, it'll get locked into AT&T. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to recognize when your device has become locked into the AT&T setting. And uh, thankfully, Motorola has provided a small executable that we can run to essentially unlock the multi-mode to allow us to change from uh, AT&T to whatever carrier we'd like to use. So I'm going to click on Start, Settings, Connections, and Phone Network Setup. And you can see here that the current setup says no SIM card, yet it's still locked into the AT&T settings. So what we need to do is enable the multi-mode. So I'm going to go to the File Explorer. And again, you can get this file from VPN Systems or Motorola. I happen to have stored it in the application directory, so I'm going to browse to that directory. And click on multi-mode. And you can see that it is in fact disabled, so I'm going to click to enable. And it's going to ask me to save it. And reboot the phone. Just select OK. And when it comes back, we need to go back to Start, Settings, Connections, and back to Phone Network Setup. And this time, when I go to the Band Selection tab, you can see that it's now unlocked, and I have the opportunity to select what band I want. And I'm going to choose CDMA only because I want Verizon. And then I can go back to CDMA setup. And you can see that I'm all set to start activation. For more videos, please visit our YouTube technical support channel, Vantage Point Networks. That's www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Vantage Point Networks. Thanks for watching.